Uh, my name is Randy Tolleson. I'm the Director of Global Technology and Optimization for Pitney Bowes Global Services. The business challenges that led to the need for a field service solution at Pitney Bowes uh, were uh, that we had a disparate systems globally for the various ticketing systems and the systems that ran the company. What our intent was, was to have the best practices standardized and implemented globally to get the best cost, best service for our clients. Yeah, the importance of data visibility to management of the company, I think goes back to the quote that I heard years ago that you know what gets measured gets done. And it's absolutely true. The data makes all that happen. It becomes the common language to communicate what's important and what's improving and what's not. The key goals and the key measures of success for the selection of a vendor, such as ServiceMax, uh, were around the cost uh, of actually putting these technicians in front of clients, uh, and improving on that cost structure, and for us to have some clean understanding of how their parts consumption. It's our second largest spend after people, and, and we have brought them under control with the ServiceMax offerings. The Pitney Bowes field service force in the United States, North America, is about 400 technicians, a little over 400 technicians, and about half that number again in Europe and they're able to see all of the activities that, are exist, that exist in their territory and in adjacent territories, and they can function as a team to make sure that the work gets done in the most efficient method possible. It seems to be working very well. The best way to describe the efficiencies that the, the technicians have realized in performing their work would be to, to say that they have access to a lot more data about the clients and information about the clients. So some of those early metrics that we naively thought we were gonna drive dramatically, we improved enough but for very solid good business reasons, uh, we're seeing other metrics such as the rate of calls into the call center and the rate that we're dispatching against the population decline as well. The executive view of, field, of a field organization and field technicians uh, has evolved in the last couple of years. And they've seen these, these trends and, and you know, understood them early enough to recognize that the growth of a field service force uh, is actually a, to a, a significant competitive and business advantage uh, to the investors. Uh, we, to the extent that we have expanded, uh, we have uh, begun to take on uh, other companies uh, and, and started providing support for their organization. And had, that alone has become a tens of millions of dollars business. In terms of the uh, service max engagement and the, the tone and the attitudes of the service technicians, I would say it's been a positive impact overall. And that's because these are intelligent people. They work with data. They understand that this system provides a lot of data on how we're running the business. So they know that we're keeping an eye on how productive and efficient they are. And they know that. I would say that a healthy partnership um, would consist of two entities or companies who recognize the reality of their business relationship. They're responsive to one another. And that. Uh, and I see that with ServiceMax and Pitney Bowes, we have a very healthy partnership. I found ServiceMax to be responsive and on the, on the ball. Uh, uh, forward thinking and the roadmaps that they're um, that they're devising and very often we see the earlier conversations that we've had emerge in those roadmaps and we're very happy about that.